models of the communication this is our second part so here i will tell about you some theories uh, of communication so here there is some models of communication there is a one way communication process it will it called linear model okay and then two way process then shannon weaver model of communication then murphy's model of communication and barlow's model of communication and then thiel and bowie's model so over the last year uh, various models have been offered and representing the what is the involved then women communicate so different scholars have give their models and their th um, theories so first of all this is shannon weaver model so in the year 1949 the cloudy shannon have electrical engineer and a warren weaver propounded he founded the mathematical model of the communication so he just represent the information source is the sender then it transmits means encode but after the encoding he transmit through the different channels and then reception at the time of the reception of that message it will be decoded and after that it will reach uh, reach at destination means up to the receivers and receiver will give the feedback to sender so it complete the communication so it is the sender waiver model so it is the inform it includes is information source message transmitter means the sender of message is an encoder form so that is the encoder form is called transmitter the noise source means the model recognize the potential of noise in distorting the message while transmitting through channel means there is some hurdle there is some problem which is during the transmission of the message the reception means the person who will receive and who will receive the information and the destination destination means the communication process at the end of the communication process that is the destination after that there is a murphy's model murphy's model define the context that stimuli stimuli means stimulate which uh, no, the stimulate the behavior to, to stimulate to do something and to provide the information so there is a sender encoder is experience attitude skills it is included in this sender perception idea encoding symbol decision sending mechanism it will just pass through the message means medium verbal and non verbal and after that the receiver decoder receiver or decoder it experience attitude skills required to decode the message and to understand the message so so Uh, receiver mechanism perception decoding ideas interpretation are required in this message and then it provide the feedback in the verbal and non verbal communication so he is define this model and after that the it, it define first of all context context means uh, it is a broad field that includes country culture organization internal and external causes of action and every message whether oral or written begins with the context then sender encoder means the second encoder use symbols usually words to express the message and the create the desired response and third one is the message message means is the core idea the sender wish to communicate so it consists of the both verbal as well as non verbal symbols next the medium medium means a channel through which the message will be sent or communicated so it can be printed word or email or sound or gesture after that receiver decoder means the receiver listener who will listen our message is a person who receive the message and the decodes it and feedback but it can be oral or written it can be the action such as receiving an ordered item sender needs feedback in order to determine the successfully or failure of the communication so feedback is mandatory in every communication so without getting a feedback we can't able to know that the message will be delivered successfully or not then thiel and bowie's model after that thiel and bowie's model thiel and bowie's model he defined according to thiel and bowie's communication model business communication is more than a single act it is a chain of the events consisting of the five phases linking sender and receiver first of all it Uh, the consists the idea means sender has an idea in the process of con conceiving an idea about the real world the sender leaves out many things but assumes some things this means idea in the mind of the sender is a simplification of the real world and after that message message the idea in the mind of the sender is transformed into words and thus becomes a message so the message may be expressed in many ways 
After that, the message is transmitted. The third step in the process is physically transmission of the particular message through the verbal as well as the non-verbal channel from the sender to receiver. So, it's the channels through which we will transmit our message to the receiver. The receiver gets message. After that, transmit, uh, transmission of the message, the receiver will receive the message and understand the message and store the message mentally. And after that feedback, the receiver reacts after receiving the message and sends feedback. Feedback is key element in the communication process because it enables the sender to evaluate the effectiveness of the message. Then the process is repeated until both parties have finished expressing themselves. Means it is uh, so uh, sharing about the some ideas. If I have some ideas. Then I will say to others, a, a person standing in front of me, then I will tell some ideas uh, to the, uh, that person, I will share my ideas with that person. Then that person will respond about that particular ideas and after the receiving the my message in their mind. So he just accept and understand my ideas and then he will respond the particular about uh, against the particular uh, verbal or non-verbal communication. So if I receive the uh, feedback then it will the communication is effectively reached through the other parties so this is the model next some there are some barriers of the communication so barriers means that there is a problem and there is a obstacles there is a hurdles between the communication so uh, after to making the communication good so there there should not be any barriers or com uh, barriers or the gap between the communication so the, we should just send the message proper encoding and proper words so this is the some barriers so what is the main barriers in this first of all this is semantic barrier semantic barriers mean different people assign different meaning to one specific message so this is due to the problem with meaning significance and the sending and reception of the meaning and the context of the message so this is semantic barrier means different for a particular message or particular word there may be the different meaning of the message particular message so there should be a clear description of the particular message in the message if there is no proper description of a particular message the message can be taken otherwise in the other form uh, other way then organizational barrier so organized ba barrier includes this type of the barriers developed due to the problems with physical distance between members with respect to their functional specialization of tasks, powers, authority and status licenses, values held and ownership of the information. So if there is a gap between communi uh, communication gap between these authorities or there is a distance between the physical distance between the members so with respect to their functional specialization, so it type, uh, this type of the problems occurring in an organization. Then interpersonal barriers, interpersonal barriers, these barriers are also develop in the process of communication. They are the based upon the relationship, values held and attitude of the participants in the process of communication. So this is also the barriers of the communication, interpersonal barriers means it is a barrier related to some relationship values held and attitude. If I have, uh, I have not a good relationship with my colleagues and my co-workers, then due to the lack of that good relationship, the communication will be failed and I, and I will not be not I will not able to communicate properly to that person because the relationship with that person is not good so due to that interpersonal personal relationship there may be the arise the interpersonal barriers for the communications the individual barriers individual barriers means these are the also called the psychosociological barriers means the problem of the barrier arise due to the different in individual competency to think and act which would include physical elements of the handicaps. It is also because of the individual skills in receiving and transmitting the information, which would include poor listening and improper reading skills and adverse psychological conditions. So it will affect and it will create the barriers. It is called the individual barriers. Uh, if, uh, for example, I am not listening, uh, listening to any lecture properly, so it may be uh, if uh, after that lecture a teacher will ask me something about which uh, I have already taught 
teacher already told to the class so i am not aware about that because i i, I was not listening that particular lecture properly so this is the individual barrier then cross culture or geographical barriers means culture is the shared set of the values and attributes of a group the communication barriers are also seen because of the time geographical location and effect of the time upon reception of the message and other cross culture factors because there is a different culture and different in different culture there is so much different language so it, due to the some language to the some culture i am not able to understand uh, the particular message if i will go to the punjab area then there is a uh, punjabi language so i am i am not able to get the message in the punjabi language so what if he or she want to say me so i can't able to understand the punjabi language so it will be the culture or cross culture barriers for me then physical barriers channel and media barriers it means the effectiveness and the accuracy of the communication is also affected by the physical barriers like distance noise or channel and the media used in the process in this category problems that confront the media used in the process in this category problems that confront the issues of the how best to communicate a message are included for example it is best to transmit a message face to face rather than in writing so it is also example of the physical barriers or the channel or media barriers means we should use the proper channel or proper media through which a message can be transmit clearly and successfully reach to up to the end parties or up to the receivers so this is the uh, so in this case uh, it is uh, given the example here ki we the message should be pass through page uh, face to face is better than writing so this is also the physical or channel or media barriers then technological technological barriers means which is arise due to that some technological advancement in the field of communication so technology generates lot of the information which is beyond the capacity of the recipient so further the media advancement on account of technology process increase the barriers so as well as in benefit it also increase the some barriers because if you, uh, i want to send some reactions through the message so i will just say uh, say some message and say some words in my funny mood and but the other parties will take it otherwise or in other sense so if the other party and the receiver cannot understand if i am in the happy mood or a sad mood or angry mood so it will be impact or it will just uh, create the barriers and it it will be the technological barriers so the ideas and the message have to reach from the transmitter to receiver in the same sense so if it does not happen it is known account of the barriers in communication so we cannot just send the our reactions our sense or our feelings to the others what i what we are feeling so it is not possible to send the online or some uh, some technological media so this uh, this may be the technological barriers and after that the overcoming barrier communication barriers means how we can remove the communication barriers so first of all the constructive environment should be created for expression of ideas means the message should be created well in well words and simple words and clear words so in a positive attitude while communicating by being upon minded means pro uh, second proper communication channel should be used to transfer idea and information third one should try to maintain a positive attitude while communicating by being open minded so we just communicate with frankness and open minded to the person fourth one should use direct simple language and avoid words that have more than one meaning means double meaning words should be avoided then free flow of the information should take place between different level both vertically and horizontally sixth one should try to understand the idea information through proper listening before giving feedback then we just need to listen that particular message clearly so this is all about the communication barriers and models and the theories about the communication and thank you so much to listening please subscribe my channel easy notes for you at youtube and there is so much and so many videos already updated here we will just update uh, daily update uh, some video related to the ugc net so being in touch with us you can visit our site at www.easynotesforyou.com so thank you so much to being with us you